Hi, this is John Miko with the Philly Pops, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about brass instruments. Now, almost all instruments use some kind of vibration to create a sound. For example, string instruments use a vibration of a bow across a string. Most woodwind instruments use a vibration of air across a reed. But brass instruments actually use the vibration of ourselves, or more specifically, our lips. Now, to make this vibration, we purse our lips into what is called an embouchure, like this. And then what we do is we blow air through our mouth to create a buzzing sound, like this. Now, what a brass instrument does is it amplifies this sound into a harmonic series so that we can create music with it. First, what you have is a mouthpiece. Now, a mouthpiece is the first instrument that amplifies this sound. If I am to uh, buzz my lips into a mouthpiece, it would sound a little something like this. Now you can manipulate the air to make that sound go up and down. After the air goes through the mouthpiece, it then goes through the rest of the instrument's tubing in order to create the sound that we all know. For example, I have a trumpet here. If I were to do that same buzzing through the entire trumpet, it would sound something like this. Now, most brass instruments have what we call valves. What these valves do is it manipulates the air through certain sections of tubing to lengthen or shorten the amount of tubing there is to make the note sound lower or higher pitched. For example, on the trumpet that I have here, this first valve goes through, I'll turn it around, goes through this section of tubing here. So if I press the first valve down, it would make the sound go a little bit lower, like this. Now the second valve goes through this little piece of tubing here. Now this will have make the sound go lower, but not as low as the first valve, because the first valve's tubing is much longer. So it'll sound something like this. Now the third valve's tubing is the longest, so this is going to make the sound the lowest. This, it's this piece of tubing right here. That'll sound something like this. Now different brass instruments have different kinds of ways to change the sound. Some have a slide, such as the trombone and you manually uh, make the tubing longer and shorter using the slide. Some brass instruments such as the French horn also have rotors. Those function very similar to valves, except instead of pressing a button of a valve up and down, it opens and closes different passageways through the rotors. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about brass instruments. I'm gonna use this brass instrument, the trumpet, to play you out, thanks. Thank you.